All right, guys, looking good. Just another minute or two to let people log in and then we'll get warmed up and we'll get to it. If you guys saw the post earlier, today's workout is all about thighs, back, and booty. We've got 30 minutes. Um, it's all, not all, mostly body weight stuff. But if you have any weights around, if you have dumbbells at home, grab those. If you've got a couple of different sets, maybe grab those. You might want to swap them out a little bit. Otherwise, if you guys tuned in the other day to Friday's workout, I refilled my water bottles. So they're back to heavy again. You can use water bottles. You can use refillable water bottles. I know at a time like this, you guys might have some bottles of wine. <laughs> Hopefully they're full. Grab the full ones, not the empty ones. So whatever weights you guys can find. That's right, three thumbs up on the bottles of wine, right? All right, who else do we have? If you're, if you're tuning in from a studio, from a Spanga studio, not physically from the studio, but you're a member, you're part of the Spanga fam, um, tell me where you're from. I'd love to see where everybody's coming from this morning. Hey, Debbie. Spanga in Sugarland. We've got Seminole, we've got Mokina. Guys are looking good. Broomfield. Hey, Aaron. All right, y'all. Well, it's time to get going. Um, when I step back and uh, take it to my mat and be a little further away, so let me know if um, audio is sacrificed at all. But we're going to get started, guys. So whether you have a mat or not, or if you're just on hardwood floor or carpeting, it's all good. We're gonna start with setting a little bit of intention and finding a strong forearm plank. So come on down to your mat or to the floor. Have those weights just nearby. But come on down, we're gonna find a strong forearm plank here. We can always take that plank to our knees, right? If we're here on our knees, I recommend bringing those legs up so we get off the kneecaps. Palms facing down, lengthen through your spine. Zip up between those inner thighs, nice and strong. You get a little hook in those hips to keep that core engaged. I want you to take your gaze just past your fingertips. You stay right there. Stay in that plank. And this is where we set our intention, guys. We're all kind of in the same boat here. We're in a very challenging time. So set that intention for today, maybe the rest of the week, maybe the rest of the month, and set that positive intention whether it's to get through the next 30 minute workout and give it everything you've got, whether it's to spend a little more quality time with your family, not because you're forced to, but because you get to. Maybe you are a business owner or your job is in jeopardy. We're gonna set that intention right now to be positive about what may come. Take a deep breath, inhaling through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. And let's press up to all fours here. We're gonna continue warming up that core. So we're hitting thighs, back, and booty today. So we gotta warm those puppies up, right? So stacking those joints, shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees, and a bird dog is here, guys. We're gonna take right arm out, left arm back, and return. Left arm out, right arm back. We're just warming things up here, but I want you to feel engagement in the right places. So as you extend your leg, glute activates. Squeeze that booty, press back through your heel, and as you reach through that upper body, core is engaged. Draw that belly button in towards your spine. Good. Stay with it. That core engagement is super important here, guys. We're going to keep it engaged through this 30 minutes. Give me one more each side. Even it out. And then come on up. Take your time coming up. I'll give you a little rest breaks here, guys, but we're only working for 30 minutes, so we're going to keep moving pretty quickly. Good? Good. All right, sound is still good. All right, we're still there. Oh, Frankfurt, DG, I see everybody in there. Okay, good. Um, next warm up, guys, we're gonna take a little bit of a lunge, little shallow lunge, just step back, shallow little lunge, and then when you come up, take a twist. So again, more core engagement, warming up that midsection, little lunge, up and twist. Now, since we're gonna be focusing on booty today, every time we're doing a leg exercise, even now in the warm-up, 
I want you to focus on driving your heel into the floor. That's gonna activate the back side of your leg, take it out of your quad. All right, so we're here. Give me two more on this side, and we'll warm up the other side. Three, two, one, and switch. Other leg goes back, and twist. Good. Now you didn't forget already, did you? Drive down through that heel. That's gonna activate the back side, all right? Hamstrings through those glutes. You're still going, right? Keep going, keep going. Couple more on this side, guys. And then we'll get that heart rate up a little bit more. Last three, two, one. Come back together. This time, getting that heart rate up quite a bit. You're gonna take a wide squat. Give me two hops in the middle. Wide squat, two hops in the middle. If we're not hopping today, you're just gonna take another close squat here. Take it wide, squat, together, squat. All right, otherwise, a little plyo and they'll get the heart rate up. Core still engaged. And when you drop down into that wide squat, what's happening? Weight's going back in those heels, right? So we can send everything to those glutes and those hamstrings. You've got four, three, stay with me, two, and one. Whew, grab some water. We should be nice and warmed up now, guys. We're gonna grab those weights. So whatever you've got, if you've got a couple of sets, keep both of them nearby. You're gonna need one for this first round. So we've got three blocks of work, okay? First block, we're going 30 seconds each exercise. Second block, 45 seconds, different exercises. Last block, one minute, 60 seconds, each exercise, different exercises. Then we'll take it to the floor for a little more intensity. So this first one, grab one weight, find a lunge here. So let's take our left leg in front to start. Find your lunge, stack that heel over the ball mount of your foot, and now hinge forward, long spine, support yourself on your leg. You may have incredible core strength here, but I still want you to support yourself on your leg because we need to focus on the muscles up here right now. Palm facing down for 30 seconds. We've got a single arm reverse fly. All right, ready? Let's go, Spang a fam. Time to work. Squeeze it up there. All right, so you stay, maintain that position. So as you see, elbow slightly bent, squeeze it back. Squeeze it back. We're using all these muscles up here, guys, all right? Let's start this timer. I don't wanna be that trainer, right? There we go, squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Give me a couple more seconds here. And we're gonna switch that exercise to a close row, that single arm close row. Now do you guys remember what I said about our legs? What are you doing with that front foot? Dig that heel into the floor. You feel that booty activate right away, right? Yes. Hold on to that. Three, two, one. Stay right here. Keep that palm facing in and turn it into a close row. So now this time, elbow is coming in close to your rib cage. Squeeze it up and back. And let's talk a little bit about time under tension. Sometimes we don't have access to big heavy weights to make this challenging enough. So the amount of time you spend at the full extension here is very minimal. I want most of the time spent through the movement. Good, you're still digging through that front heel. Push it into the ground, come on. We've got four seconds left of this row. Three, two, one, keep your lunge. Keep that push into that front heel. Activate that glute. Now we've got a full lunge with a hammer curl. You're gonna curl on your way down. Just drop that back knee and squeeze up. All right, time under tension here, guys. Real quick again, the least amount of time at the bottom here. Curl it right back up. That means your lunge, you gotta get right back into that lunge too. Boom. Boom. Looking good. Stay with a couple more seconds here on this lunge, and we're gonna switch sides in three, two, and one. Woo. All right, shake it out, guys. We gotta do the other side, right? Switch that weight to the other hand. Other legs in front. Find your strong lunge, stacking that back heel over the mid, or the ball of your foot. Drive through that heel right now. All right, let's extend forward, reaching through the crown of our head. Hold it here, slight bend in that elbow, reverse fly. We're here for about 30 seconds. 
Good, squeeze it out. All that movement is from the shoulder. We want to hit all of these muscles right back here, guys. So just the shoulder, that's the only joint moving. Core is engaged. You didn't forget about digging that heel in, did you? <laughs> if we're gonna get that booty work today, we gotta focus on the right position of those legs. Come on, you've got three, two, and one. Turn it into a row, guys. Keep that palm facing in, drive that elbow back. Where's your time under tension? A little bit of time down here, more time up here. Drive it up. Oh, how's that leg doing? You should feel a little heat in that front leg. Keep going. Uh. Power it up. You guys got this. Few more seconds here on the row. We take it to that lunge hammer curl in three, two, one. Stand it up. Hammer curl as you drop down into that lunge. Drop down and curl. Now that elbow, it's independent of your body, right? So it's next to your rib cage, but try not to hook it in front. Keep it over to the side. It means shoulder engagement here. Keep that shoulder in one place and strong curl up. You guys are still lunging, right? Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> you guys gotta keep going. Come on, give me three, two, and one. Good, drop that weight for now. We have 30 seconds before we start the next one. I wanna throw a 30 second cardio in there, guys. Some skaters, now we're gonna fire up that booty. So skaters right here, side to side, boom. Boom. If we're not jumping today, take a big step, curtsy lunge behind. Step, curtsy lunge. Otherwise, throw some power into it. Come on. First big movement of the day here, guys. Put a little energy into it. This is gonna set you up for the rest of your day, right here, right? Stay with it. Give me 15 more seconds here, how about it? We're still breathing, you get a water break, it's coming. It's coming, we're almost done with this first block. In three, two, and one. Woo! Elbow bumps these days, right? Elbow bumps, virtual high fives, and fists. Grab some water, shake it off, towel off. I'm gonna go through the exercises for our second block here, guys. You get a little bit of rest time, 45 seconds for each one. We're gonna fire up those biceps now. So you're gonna grab those weights, you can watch now, join in in a second. And we're gonna be hitting three different angles for our bicep. We're starting with a pulse. So from the side here, elbows are dropped directly under our shoulders. We're gonna have two pulses with a regular curl, then turn it to hammer, two pulses. Then reverse, palms down, two pulses. Here's the key with the pulse. A lot of times, especially when those biceps fatigue, this turns into the pulse. The important part is dropping the weight below your elbow. Just an inch or two, all right? So we're pulsing there and then we're gonna go right into full range of motion all three different ways. All right, so grab those weights, soften those knees. You can take a stagger stance if you like. Here we go, palms facing up. Give me two, one, hammer curl. Two, one, reverse. Two, one, good, all the way back up. Palms up, now hammer. Two in each direction. Good. So lots of time under tension, good? If these aren't hard enough and you need something a little more challenging, go a little faster. Drop those elbows a little bit lower. Good. You got it. Good, those reverse curls, they feel a little funny, don't they? Sometimes you can't get, depending on range of motion through those elbows and those wrists, can't quite get those palms all the way down. That's okay, do your best. Let's go one more. Hammer. Reverse. Get ready for full range of motion. One rep. Here we go. From the bottom to the top. Hammer. Reverse. Up. Hammer. Reverse. Good. We're here for about another 30 seconds, guys. Keep pushing through it. Are you still breathing? Palms up. Palms in. Palms down. Good. Up. In. Down. Got it. Up. In. 
down. We got about 10 seconds, guys. Get in whatever you can. Weights are gonna be optional for this next round as we get back to those legs. You got four, three, two, and one. Good, so weights are optional on this. We're gonna get back to that booty. So standing from the side here, we've got a reverse lunge. Where's the weight? In that heel, right? Drive your knee up. Take a single leg deadlift. Woo. Come back up, reverse lunge. So this might take a little bit longer for you to find your balance. That's okay, that's just more time under tension. All right, dig through that front heel. Take that lunge, and here we go. We got 45 seconds. Drive that knee up, deadlift. Knee up, lunge, take your time. Knee up, deadlift, up, lunge. You guys got this. Where's that core engagement? We didn't forget about it, right? Core is engaged. We're digging through that front heel. Drive through it, drive through it. The harder you push through that front heel, the more we're engaging those glutes. That's the point of today. Let's make the right muscles work. Good, you got time for probably two more on this side, and then we'll switch. Good, how's that standing leg doing? If we're digging through that heel, you're gonna feel it straight through that booty, right? Last one right here, and relax, switch sides, right over to the other side, guys, find that balance. Get your lunge, knee up, deadlift, lunge, knee, Deadlift. Ooh, you guys got it. So the standing leg, drive through that heel, drive through that heel. If you need to, if you're losing your balance a little bit, don't pay attention to me. Find a non-moving object, a little knot in the floor, anything. Focus on that. That's gonna keep you balanced through that deadlift. Stay with it. Good guys, good, good. I still see the comments rolling in. If you're commenting right now, it means you're not working out, right? <laughs> Busted. Good, we got time for about two more here, guys. Through that heel, through that heel, come on. Activate that booty. And then we've got 30 seconds of another little cardio finisher. And relax, good. Next little cardio finisher, 30 seconds, and then we get to rest. It's a mini X jump, so take it wide, reach across, Hot together. Uh, uh. If we're not jumping, you're gonna take a little side step together. Side step. All right, but this is your cardio finisher. Come on. Just for this block, then we rest and get to the next one. You guys know what I'm gonna say. We've got a leg exercise right here, so what's happening in those heels? Push that weight back, dig into those heels, drive out of it every time you come up. Come on, give me 10 seconds. Last four, three, two, and one. Woo. Shake it out, grab some water. Awesome job, Spanga fam. One more big block, one minute per exercise. All right, grab those weights again. I'll show you first, then you guys can jump in, take a little rest first. All right, that time under tension. You're gonna get sick of me saying it. <laughs> Palms facing forward for a reverse grip row this time, guys. We're gonna hinge forward from those hips. So push that booty back. The more parallel we can get our upper body to the floor, the better. Palms are facing forward. I want you to squeeze up, hold for three, two, one, and release, okay? We're going there that pace for about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna speed it up. Quick tempo, driving those elbows back. That's the first exercise, all right? Second exercise I'm gonna show you now so you kind of got it in your head because it's your brain's gonna have to work a little bit this morning. It's a step back plie. So toes are gonna be facing forward one leg. You step at it back at an angle, toes are out at an angle, and you drop down into a plie. Weights are gonna be optional here, but we're gonna be alternating sides. Come back to the center, open up. You can call this a sumo squat as well. All right, that's the second exercise. So I'm just showing you right now. Grab those weights, here we go. Hinge from your hips. Palms facing forward for this reverse grip row. Tempo here. Drive it up. Hold. Three, two, one. Release. Right back up. Three, two, one. You guys got it. You guys know how to count to three, right? <laughs> you guys go at your own pace, but hold that up there for a good three seconds. Squeeze, squeeze, and release. 
So as you squeeze up, we're pinching right there between those shoulder blades. Ladies, if you're wearing a sports bra, I want you to bunch it up between those shoulder blades. Everybody, you got a $100 bill between them. Pinch it, hold it. We all need it right now. Come on, hold it. One more with that three, two, one. Now pick it up, speed it up, drive it up. Uh. Good. Tiny bit of time with those arms extended. Most of it is up at the top part of this row. Drive it up. Come on, Spang and Fam, Sunday morning. You got e-learning tomorrow, right? This is your day. This is your day. This is gonna set the intention for the entire week right here. So let's work hard. Come on, give me four. Three, two, one. Weights are optional for this. Open up, plie or sumo squat, together. Open up, together. Now, you know what I'm gonna say? Leg exercise, where's the drive? Down into those heels. As you open up, open those knees, open those glutes. You keep going your same pace right here. We're here for a full minute. Heart rate's gonna come up a little bit. Keep going your same pace, but I'm gonna show you something. When you open up into that plie and you drop down, to keep those knees open, we have to activate here. So tighten up that booty. Chest is gonna lift everything. Every time you go down, boom, tighten up that booty. Squeeze up, boom. Ah, oh. see some of my neighbors on here too. Coons family, I saw you working. Hopefully all five of you are on here right now. Keep it up guys. About another 10 seconds. This is trainer time, you know that, right? It's okay if you go over a little bit. Four, three, two, one. We're coming back to that sumo squat. Weights are optional on this last one, guys. 60 seconds here, open those knees up again. Palms facing up. As you drop down into that sumo squat, extend those arms. Drive elbows back as you stand up. We're actually hitting thighs, back, and booty. All three in this exercise. So I'm doing them nice and slow and controlled. But if you need a little extra oomph, you've got a little extra energy this morning, go ahead, boom. Boom, throw a little bit of power and a little bit of speed into it. But there's a lot going on in your body right now. I know you're gonna feel the upper body, but don't forget about that sumo squat, right? When you get down in that plie, booty's gotta stay tight. Tighten it up and drive up. This is exercise three of this block. We've got one more cardio finisher, guys. And we're gonna take it down to the floor. Ah. You guys feeling this in the right place? My back is on fire. Come on, give me 10 seconds. Oh, drive those elbows back. See if you can get a good squeeze. Reach behind you. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, I forgot your cardio finisher. Don't rest, we have squat jacks. As you go down into your squat jack, I want arms up. Drive those elbows back. We are not done with that back. Give me 30 seconds right here. If we're not jumping, same thing as before, you're right here. You got it. Come on, now every time we raise those arms, keep going, keep going, keep going. You got about 15 seconds here. Every time you raise those arms, back is active. Every time you drive the elbows down, back is active, come on. You got four, three, two, oh, one, and rest. Now rest, grab some water. We're just about perfect on time, y'all. We're gonna take it down to the floor. You can push all those weights to the side. Oh. We're gonna take it down to the floor on your belly. How are you guys doing? Amy S. We got Michelle in Ann Arbor. Hey, Sarah. How's my little nephew doing? <laughs> all right, grab a drink, guys. We're coming down to the floor on your bellies. So come all the way down. Feel free to take your shoes off if you want to. We're gonna continue hitting that back. So legs extended, relax your legs onto the floor right now. Bring those arms out in front. So we've got some back extensions coming. We're gonna move a little bit in that back extension. But I want you to be mindful of your back. If you have any back issues, if any of this bothers you, Take a little break, maybe hang out in child's pose for a little bit. 
and then jump back in when you're ready. All right, but here's the exercise. Arms are extended. You can keep them to your sides as well for a little shorter lever. Gaze is gonna stay towards the mat. So watch me first, and then you don't have to watch me again. You'll know what to do. We're gonna inhale as we lift up. Squeeze your elbows back. Reach back out and down. Lift, squeeze your elbows. It's a lat pull. Reach and back down. All right, you guys are on. Ready, let's go. Lift, drag the elbows back. Out and down. Lift. As you drive those elbows back, you should feel a little extra lift. You can go a little higher as you squeeze back. Give me one more like this, and we're gonna take it a little further. You guys got this, I know you can do it. Ready, on the next one, lift. Elbows back, extend your arms, fly back, and then return. Good, take your time, go at your own pace. Squeeze the elbows, extend your arms, and return. You guys got it, keep going. I know there's a lot going on here. Try to do two more reps. Everything along that back, active, roll those shoulders back, chest is lifted, and rest. Let's turn that left temple to the floor. Rest your arms to your sides, mini corpse pose here. Breathe, let your back relax, that spine neutralize. And then we're gonna take that gaze back to the floor. This time, keeping those arms right where they are. Turn your palms facing in. And we're gonna be driving those fingertips down towards our toes or our heels, lifting our lower body this time. So I want you to lift from your booty. Let's get those glutes engaged again. So gaze is at the floor. As we inhale, we lift. Reach back through your toes, forward through the crown of your head. And release. Again, lift. Push those fingertips down towards your feet. Reach, 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 and release. Lift. Good, squeeze that booty. Come on, lift those legs. Strong, long legs. Release. Two more. Lift. And release. One more. Lift. And release. Turn the other temple to the floor. Rest. We're almost there, guys. Good, relax through your spine. Let your back rest. You should feel all of that tension kind of melt away a little bit now. It's a lot of time under tension through your back. So we'll geek out a little bit here on the science stuff. This is part of your core, guys. Down here, this lower back, everything below your rib cage is your core. So anytime you're doing back extensions, things like that on the floor, you're working your core just as important as working the front side. We have to often forget about that posterior chain. So we've got to work back side a lot. So today, it's gonna to help you with your posture, hopefully help you with any back pain that you might have. Take another deep breath there. And let's roll over to our back. Last push on those glutes, guys. On your back, bring those heels maybe six inches or so, six to 10 inches away from your booty, away from your hips. What are we gonna do? Drive through those heels, right? So before we even start, lift your toes just a little bit so you're on your heels. Palms gonna be face down, arms to your sides. You can bring them up over here, over your chest for a little less stability. It's gonna be a little more engaging. And drive your hips up. Hold them up there. Now notice, did your knees open up? If they did, squeeze them back in line with your hips. Hold it there for three, two, one, and release. One more like this and we're going to single legs. Drive up, hold it, dig into your heels. If you dropped into those toes, lift them back up, drive into your heels, lift, lift. Knees are in line with our hips, little squeeze from the inner thigh. Three, two, one, and down, good. Lift that right leg. If having it extended is a little too much, just cross it over your left leg, and this will give you a single leg. Here we go, lift up, squeeze, hold, 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 dig into that heel, lift those toes, three, two, one, release. One more, ready, lift, up, hold, dig into your heel, push, push, three, two, one, release, 
we have to do the other side. I don't want one butt cheek bigger than the other. <laughs> Drive into that heel again. Cross your leg, or we can extend it all the way up. This is gonna be more advanced up here. Ready, press into that heel and lift. Hold it if that leg's extended, push through that top heel. Three, two, one, and down. One more, right? Let's press it up. Lift, hips up, dig into your heel, activate right here. Squeeze that booty to lift, hips an inch higher. Hold three, two, one, and release. Woo! You guys made it. It's time for just a quick stretch. Draw those knees into your chest. Take a little rock side to side, maybe roll out some small circles on your back. And then draw those knees in super tight. Good stretch for your back. Drawing your head up. Give those shins a nice big hug. And let's take a few rock and rolls to come all the way back up to seated. A couple of just quick stretches, guys, and then you guys are on your way to extend our left leg out in front. Cross your right leg so we're not twisting like we normally would seated up here. We're actually gonna be um, stretching out our glutes. So grab a hold of that knee, that leg, pull it in, sit nice and tall. So imagine you're trying to stand up and sit up as tall as you can and you're bringing that leg with you. Tuck it in, give it a hug. We all need a hug today. One more breath here. And release. Let's switch legs. Cross it over, get up on those sit bones. Give it a big hug, draw it in. So we should feel a little bit of the stretch, the extension through here. Every time you're stretching, whether it's with yoga in yoga poses or just some static stretches after a workout, focus on your breath. And as you inhale, feel a little lengthening through your spine. You might not physically move a whole lot, but just that feeling of finding a little bit of length and then on the exhale, drawing in a little tighter. And release. Take those legs to wherever is comfortable right now. I've got a great bicep stretch for you guys. So extend those arms out to your sides. Turn those palms um, facing out, fingertips down towards the floor. And then notice if you, you drew your shoulders up here. Let's roll those back and down. Open up those hands. Now send those arms back behind you just a little bit. So we're here. Draw them back. Holy biceps, right? It should be nice and tight. Full of blood and water right now from all that work. And release. Last stretch, guys. Give yourselves a big hug. Wrap those arms around you. Opening up between those shoulder blades, stretch through your back. If it's okay with your neck and your back, draw your chin to your chest. And gently release. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we are going to have live workouts every day um, as long as we're all dealing with the current situation. We'll have live workouts for you guys. If you miss the live workouts, they'll always be posted on our Facebook page. You can always refer back to them later. Or tonight, you wanna do this one again, even better. Um, and then we also have some at-home workouts that are recorded. And um, in our post, I'll link that in our post as well. It's in um, our bio on Instagram, and I'll put it on the Facebook as well, so you guys can um, click to that link and find a bunch of other workouts as well. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Love you all.